Hi, I'm George, and we'll be using Photoshop Elements Selection Tools to remove this person from this picture and change out the background just like that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way is with my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. We'll start this project off by bringing up our original images. I'll just close this down. Here's the original image right here, and I also have over here our background image right there. So let's keep that saved for just a little bit. Now to remove a person like this from an image, to clip them out of the image, you need to make a selection around the person and then make a layer mask, putting that onto a new layer. Now the question is, what is the right tool to use? And it really depends upon your particular image. Now in this case, we have fairly hard edges most of the way around, so a standard selection tool will work on that, but the hair Will be a little bit soft in here so using a refined edge tool is better in there. Now when I have a situation like that I'll normally go for one of my lasso tools and what I like to use is the polygonal lasso tool it's just more controllable and for this I set this on a new selection right there and we'll set the feathering here at one pixel which just softens it down just a little bit. I'll usually also zoom in like that so I can see what I'm doing. Now with any of these tools, you won't be able to get these really fine wispy hairs. They're just gonna go away, but it's not really going to matter that much in this image. So I'll start just outside here, and I'll make just a basic selection right around the hair. We'll be using the refined edge on the hair to make that better. I'm gonna get down to here, I want to come in, and at this point I can use this tool to make a nice hard edge selection right along the edge here of her body as it separates out from that background. You can see the problem right in here, it's fairly soft, fairly soft focus on this, which means that I can't easily use the refine edge tool down here along the arm. It's going to just go blurry on us. Now to move this, I'll hold the space bar down and just pull this up. And it's just a matter of taking your time and working along and getting this, you know, a nice clean selection. Now with any selection tool, the more time you spend, usually the better it's going to be. This is something where you don't want to be hurrying or rushing the job. This is the most important step of almost any project is the selection. So if you need to spend time on your project, this is where you want to be spending that time. Everything else can go relatively quickly, but take your time and do a nice selection. If you have to zoom in further, that's just fine. I think this would be just enough for this particular image. And the nice thing about this tool is I can come in here and find exactly the right spot I want to place it at. You put in dots or clicks and then the polygonal lasso tool makes straight lines between those points you're clicking. So if it's kind of a small detail like right down here, you need to put your dots very close together. As it gets more of a straight line like along in here on the pants, then you can put your clicks here just a little bit further apart and you'll be just fine. Again, the nice part about this is I can be very, very specific as to where I'm putting these and really get a great selection this way. It takes a little longer but it's really worth it. Now down here, her foot goes into the water, so I'll be cropping this out on our final picture so that that part is just off of the image. So take a little bit of this, but I'm not gonna be using any of that. I'll take it clear onto the bottom. You can go clear off like this. You can click anywhere you want outside. This is just fine. Again, hold the space bar down and move things around. So we can get around this part very quickly. And this now take care of the rock. Rock is easy. It's just a matter of coming in here with this tool, taking the time, and making a nice clean selection. Now again, I'm just clicking, and each time it clicks, it puts a point, and the selection then goes to that point, and then I'm pulling the line out to find my next position. So this is a very, very controllable tool. So you can get absolutely perfect selections if you take your time. Now one thing about this, again, is if you go too quickly, the selection is going to collapse upon itself and you'll have to start over again. So make sure you take a moment or so between each click so you don't have that collapsing and have to begin again. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here. I'll finish up this back side. And as soon as the basic selection is done, I'll bring it back up and we'll take care of the hair. There's a basic selection. Now two problems, this little area right down here and then around the head. So I'm going to zoom in. Let's first take care of that spot between the legs. That one's easy. Go back to our polygonal lasso tool, set this at subtract, and we'll simply subtract this bit out by making another little selection here. This will then create a little donut hole basically inside of our selection. And we'll remove that 
bit here so you can see the new background behind this area. And once this is done, we'll then go up and take care of the hair using the refined edge. Okay, and just right around here. And this is a bit faster down here. It's a fairly straight line, which is nice and easy. Now, whenever you're using this tool, you want to go back to your starting point. And there's a little spot right next to the tool. Right now, it's showing a negative. If it goes to a zero, there it is. That's the beginning. Now, if you don't see that, you can just double click and it should finish off that selection. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and roll up here to around the hair. Now for the hair, we can use this Refine Edge option. Click on that, brings up the Refine Edge tool. Normally I'll have this one set at Overlay right there. Now the size of the brush, you can see it right there, that's controllable over here. I like having it about twice the size that I need, so this is a bit larger. I'll bring this down to 20, and that looks pretty good. Now when you're using this tool, I usually use Smart Radius selected, and then just come in like this, and then brush in. Just, just a couple of brushes is normally all you're going to need on this. There we go. If you have a spot like this, you'll have to brush into that, and that should catch that spot. If it doesn't, we can always clean that up back at the layer mask level. Okay, just move around the top of the hair up here, and then we should be good on this selection. Right on that side, and there we go. Okay, that's all done. Now you want to take this out as a new layer with layer mask, which will then allow you to put in your new background in behind or underneath that new layer. Click on new layer, layer mask, choose OK, and there we go. Now it's a little bit rough in here as you can see. We can clean this part up here by just increasing the contrast of the layer mask. So click on the layer mask side, go over here and grab this tool here. This is the burn tool right there, and it just darkens things down. In this case, it's going to be darkening down the layer mask. I'm going to bring the exposure level down a bit, and I'll bring the brush size up a little bit. That's better. And then just brush in, and you should be able to clean that out. Now, I went too far on that, so I'm just going to use the Control-Z keyboard shortcut here back out a bit. I don't want to lose the hair right in here. So make the brush size a bit smaller, and this make sure we stay just outside the edges, and then right inside here, to clean that up. And then right around the edge, and we should be just fine on that. There we go. You don't want to take out too much of this. You want to have a little bit of softness on that edge, and that will help then to blend that in with your new background. Okay, that looks good. Let's now come down to our background layer here. I'm also going to set this back to fit screen. There we go. And let's grab our new background, which is this. Now for this, I'm just going to take this and drag it over here. Just drop it in like that. And let's get this out of the way. These are pretty close to the same size. Not exact, but they're pretty close. You can see here this is just a little bit too skinny. I'll put it to the right just a touch, and that looks pretty good. So there's our basic position for that. I'm looking at the outlines here, the border, and also looking at where her head is against the skyline up there, and I think that's pretty nice. Now her position is wrong. I want her further to the right. So let's grab her layer here, and we'll pull her off here to the right. And I'll pull it down just a little bit to hide that bit right down there where her foot is in the water. So I think right about here, maybe a little bit of cleanup right there will be called for. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll come back in and we'll take care of the values in here in just a bit. But first, I want to get rid of all these people in the background. Let's just kind of clean up this background in here. For that real easy, I'll just zoom in. And I'll grab the regular lasso tool. Here it is. Just pull a selection right around that person like that. Go up here to Edit, come down to Fill Selection, and use Content Aware Fill. Choose OK, and that person's gone. All right, use the space bar, and just continue around and do this. This all goes very quickly. There we go. Click inside again, just deletes that. Get this little bit right here. Fill Selection. And okay, it's a bit off down here, but I think that looks okay. If it's a little bit weird, you can always use the clone stamp tool. Hold the Alt key down, grab from your image, and then clone that in. And that will normally clean up anything which is you know, a bit of a problem like that. Okay. Now at this point, I'm just going to pause the video again. I'll finish cleaning up this stuff over here. And as soon as that's done, I'll bring the video back up again. Okay, background's clean. Let's bring our foreground person back in again. And it looks pretty good. Now the colors are off just a little bit. 
So I'm going to do a couple of things in here. First, let's put a levels adjustment on this. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Where it says use previous layer, just check that, choose OK. And now we can play with our levels a bit, see if we can get a bit better match. There's a little bit more contrast in here, a little bit darker, be a little bit darker on our black side there. Just a touch, and that helps to blend that in a little bit. Looks pretty good. I'm looking at the darks in here. She should be just a little bit darker than the darks up in there because she's closer to the camera, but not too much. Okay, looks good. Now, last little thing, I want just a little color adjustment in here. She's a little bit off color. Maybe she's just a little bit more pink than I'm seeing back in here. It's kind of oranger right down in there. You can see that bit of more of an orange look in here. So let's do a new adjustment layer. Layer, come down to new adjustment layer, come down to photo filter. Again, use that checkbox right there. And I'll stick with the warming filter. And it doesn't need much, just a little bit. Now we can use the eye right here and preview that. There's with right there. There's without, I think, with just a little bit like that. And there we go. Last little thing I want to fix in here. And that's her foot right down there. We'll just zoom down and see if that's okay or not. It probably needs just a little bit of something. Almost works. I'll go here to the layer mask. And I'm just going to grab the paintbrush. Let's set this at a soft brush. That's not too bad. Black hides and white shows. I'm just going to come here, just a little bit of black, and just soften up the edge of that right there. And that just blends her, her reflection right into the water. Okay, and there we go. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. Make sure you check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.